The clocks have gone back and the nights are drawing in, so what better way to spend those dank November evenings than with the amazing new games making their way onto Xbox Game Pass. 30 years after zombie pirate LeChuck took his awful revenge, Ron Gilbert has returned with another rollicking entry in the beloved Monkey Island series. With a very handy scrapbook feature that recaps the previous two games, Return to Monkey Island picks up right where the second game left off and sees the hapless Guybrush Threepwood once again as he tries to uncover the secrets of Monkey Island. Along the way, he'll need to solve all kinds of head-scratching puzzles, most of which come with hilariously inventive solutions. If you just click on whatever seems funniest at a given moment, you're likely to find yourself on the right track. Whether your heart bubbles up with nostalgia at the mere mention of the words Monkey Island, or you're preparing to head off on your very first simian-based adventure, this gloriously goofy point-and-click puzzler is not to be missed. With club football set to go into hibernation for the winter for something called the World Cup, what better time to take control of your team's destiny with Football Manager 2023? By this point, the beloved simulation series has so many intricate tactical options and deep strategic mechanics that even Pep Guardiola might start to get a bit overwhelmed. And you'll want to take advantage of all of them since the game now boasts an improved opponent AI for you to match wits with. But with a brand new long-term squad planning tool, an experience matrix to help you chart each player's growth, and an enhanced scouting system, you'll be filling up that trophy cabinet in no time. Best of all, it's coming to both Xbox and PC Game Pass as a day one release on November 8th. The Lunar Caves of Ghost Song contain all sorts of things. There are luminescent growths floating through air and reaching out of the shadows. There are friendly characters for you to meet, like the young inventor struggling with self-esteem issues or the newly sentient android. And of course, there's a whole bunch of less friendly organisms that are just as eager to make your acquaintance. It's all so beautiful, in an eerie, I'm almost certainly gonna die here sort of way, that you'll be desperate to explore every inch of the game's 2D world, leveling up your spacesuit and unlocking new abilities to help you get to those awkward, hard to reach places. As another day one release from Humble Games, Ghost Song makes a nice spooky addition to Game Pass's ever expanding collection of unique indie games. Another major day one release coming to both Xbox and PC Game Pass this month is Obsidian's Pentiment. The first great thing about Pentiment is the beautiful illustrated manuscript world that it conjures with its distinctive art style. The second great thing is that it lets you paint your own story all over it. You'll be playing a 16th century Bavarian named Andreas Mailer, that much is certain. But who exactly is Mailer? An esteemed artist of noble character? A fierce logician with a fondness for drink? A linguist of the utmost cunning, famed for his womanizing ways. By choosing Mailer's personality and academic background at the start of the game, and then making decisions through each stage of its murder mystery, you'll get to weave your very own legend into history's grand tapestry. We all love Robin Hood because he stole from the rich to give to the poor. But what if he also did some kung fu? I think we can all agree that would be even better. And that, in short, is why you should play The Legend of Qian Ding. This action-packed platformer takes us to 20th century Taipei, where a colonial regime sees the local people beaten and exploited on a daily basis. So it's time for a little redistribution of wealth as you battle the bad guys and return their ill-gotten gains back to their rightful owners. Our fleet-footed hero also has a knack for stealing the weapons out of his enemies' hands, making for a combat system that's fast, fluid, and full of invention. After spending some time amassing its dark powers in the dusky recesses of early access, as well as a continued stint on PC Game Pass, Vampire Survivors has now emerged from its lair to place a whole new wave of Xbox Game Pass subscribers under its spell, with the new console version. Vampire Survivors is a game that features charmingly simple pixel art graphics and a charmingly simple premise. You're going to stand in the middle of a great big map while the game pours an unholy mass of increasingly powerful enemies in your direction for 30 solid minutes. But this simplicity, combined with a wide array of upgrades and weapons to experiment with, makes for the kind of perfectly Moorish roguelite experience that will have you diving back into the horde until long after the sun goes down. Seasoned gamers are no strangers to the concept of an alien invasion. I mean, we've literally been dealing with space invaders since the arcade days after all. But in Somerville, you won't be playing as a badass space marine or a chainsaw-wielding super soldier, just an ordinary bloke from a family who are trying to stay together and stay alive while the world around them turns upside down. 
Where this 2D adventure goes from there, we really don't know. The developers have done an incredible job of keeping Somerville all wrapped up in mystery ever since it was first announced all the way back in 2018. And doesn't that just make you want to get to the bottom of it even more? Well, the good news is that you'll soon be able to with the game coming straight to Xbox and PC Game Pass on November 15th. Last up, those pesky walkers have up and shuffled over to PC Game Pass with both A New Frontier and Michonne CDs now available. Based on the beloved graphic novels about how very not fun it is to be surrounded by zombies all the time, Telltale's Walking Dead games give you the chance to get hands-on with its dark dystopian stories and to make some of the most gut-wrenching decisions along the way, some of which may actually involve the literal wrenching of guts, by the way. Whether you're learning more about everyone's favourite katana-wielding zombie slayer or getting to grips with the brutal forces of the new frontier, both games are sure to keep you on the edge of your seat from the first moment to the last. Oh, and a word to the wise, they just so happen to be a great place to rack up some gamer score too. With a whole bunch of day one releases and a couple of other choice editions for good measure, November is looking like it will leave us all with plenty to remember this year. Let us know what you're most looking forward to playing and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Bye!